Welcome everyone to Review Magic and in this particular video we will be reviewing Lapta Ladies. Now this is a movie that's been trending on Netflix and stick around till the end of this video where we will be talking about whether you should be watching this movie or not. Stay tuned. All right, so let's start with the plot of Lapata Ladies. You know, this is Miss Adventure, a dramadi. What happens here is that several couples that recently got married and now they are in a train and because the girls have covered their faces with a dupatta or a wheel the bridegroom mistakenly takes another bride with him back home so there are young brides that get lost as a matter of fact so this is the story of how does the family unravel this mystery there are a lot of errors that have happened and contacting families bringing the ones that have been lost to their close ones and ultimately getting to the end so that's what this kiran rao's movie is about lapata ladies lapata which means lost and ladies we know what they are now when we review and analyze this movie it really at its core is a very simple movie the movie tells you that this is based out of in 2003 so that's almost 20 years ago you know back in those days we hardly had cell phones india was still in its very primitive state and the connectivity which for people from low income background is still using trains so uh, this movie goes back in that time and you know this young guy just got married he brings his wife and on a train journey that takes several hours they have to change trains ultimately to get to their final uh, destination so uh, when you watch the movie from the start to the end there is that element of innocence in this not only on the character of the groom but also on the young brides the family itself is is reeling with shock as to what has happened and there is no moment of boredom in lapata ladies it's a very interesting story and something that i don't think i have ever seen a story where uh, you know a bride has got lost and you're kind of now showing that in the form of a dramedy in 2024 so there is definitely empathy in this show there is always that curiosity that uh, gets built up and the story touches you because you know that this is uh, some kind of a relatable true story that girls or whether it's young brides they would get lost in pack of thousands of fiends you know whether they are in railway station or in train this could happen with kids as well but the topic is centered around the uh, brides and what are the lessons that what are the takeaways that we can see from this drama that still is quite relevant in the modern era so i just thought that the movie was very interesting for its time it touches on several stereotypes that still exist in the indian society you know especially at that lower level so as i said the girls that you know wear a dupatta on their head it's covered it's the wheel is what we what we call in english there are references to girls saying that if they have to make food they're not going to make it based on their choice but they're going to ask their husband so this movie is really set up in a typical village setting so you know all these things that i'm talking about doesn't quite happen in in major metropolitans or cities in uh, india but you still see some shades of those you know girls feeling insecure that's something that has definitely been shown in this movie because they at a very early age they've got married and then now all of a sudden when shit hits the fan they don't know how to react this is the first time probably they've they've jumped or climbed train and this whole new world of marriage is you know just unraveling a lot of mystery for them so like i said early marriage you know connectivity you know it's all very basic rudimentary in certain villages the kind of looks that someone gets the kind of when some, when a lady gets lost and the station headmaster uh, rather than empathizing he's rude and he's trying to not console or cajole this lady that is also you see so this so kiran rao mixes a lot of different elements that are playing significant part of the story but ultimately 
it is about getting to the truth, understanding what's happening, how do we unravel this mystery and, and get families together. So very interesting plot in my opinion. And I thought that would be a great weekend movie to watch with the family. I mean, this is a family drama. Ultimately, there is there's no nothing that you can you have to put your kids into into separate room or something. This is a core family PG-13 drama. So I like the story. I like the way it was flowing. I think the subject is sensitive to a lot of people, but it has to come to light. And uh, this movie has been produced by Amir Khan Productions. You can Amir Khan, who is one of the biggest Bollywood actors in. In India, he has a show called by Satmev Jayate. You know, truth should always prevail, and he touches on very sensitive topics, stereotypes, which today has the propensity or should change. We do regard our culture, our background, our heritage, but in the modern era, you know, it's time to move out of some customs that were good and back in those days. But today, so he talks on the shows, and, and no wonder why he picked such a delicate topic on, you know, how do we make sure that this some six stigmas are you know gone in this movie you will also see the one of the brides that uh, uh, gets swapped uh, when she comes to how she's pretty bold so i'm not saying that every young bride from the lower class india is you know docile is shy i mean there are girls which you know will speak about them and that's also shown in this movie i'll talk about uh, that but going into now the acting part of it so some of the characters here in this in this movie are Nitashi Goel you got Sparsh Shivastav from Jamtara i did a review of that long time back you can check that as well Savita Malvige Ravi Kishan and then supporting actors i thought they all did a great job so the person that i'm talking about who's very bold is Savita Malvige i mean she is is a girl who is not afraid of speaking the name of her husband that's another stereotype that is covered in the film that you know you don't say the name of your husband you address them as you know him or her or you know as the father of the child but not the name so you you see those shades and you kind of wonder wow i mean the, back in 2003 i mean if i was also growing up in india and i could see a lot of that happen it maybe it still happens till there so it's very relatable it's nostalgic it goes you back in time and all these actors you know they've done a phenomenal job including supporting actors it's a comedy it's drama it will bring tears it'll bring emotions to you but i think it is worth watching because of uh, good performances on the acting side i mean people that actually you know caught into the the skin of the characters and one of the interesting guys is ravi kishan who's a police officer and he tries to play he's a corrupt officer but he's also trying to listen to you know what really is happening with a very objective view so his role in the movie is very important as well and you will see when when, when you actually watch the movie now under the direction of Kiran Rao who is the ex wife of uh, Amir Khan uh, it is easy to follow i mean the story has been beautifully narrated it's a topic which is something i feel was closer to her heart and that's why she decided to uh, get into the shoes of the director but this happens in reality and i think the message here is that how can we prevent this how can we get past some of those stereotypes so i thought that direction was pretty spot on in the sense that uh, you feel a part of the story you feel like you you're almost watching this thing happening next door to you the sets to me were also very impressive you know this has been shot in a small town near patna which is the capital of a state bihar in india and you know it's a small village setting people everyone knows everyone small community these are villagers there's nothing to fancy about them you know they have that sense of pride in them i think the whole community feels like they come together whether it's for political rally whether it is for you know when people going to your temple whether it's a homely setup a joint family setup so i thought uh, it was it very well played to the authenticity of what this plot is going back to the cinematography you will definitely feel impressed there are shots where the main protagonist uh, sparsh rastav he is definitely in a dilemma he is uh, missing his wife and you know that anguish frustration is very clear you know the close up sh uh, shots the the blue color background the aerial shots of the train of cars moving around i mean the the 
the whole setup of the village from from the sky everything is is quite good to watch in lapata ladies and something that Uh, you will enjoy too now when it comes to the editing i felt like there were some scenes that were stretched i mean this is a 2 hour movie there could have been some sections that could be cut out it was not really necessary so all the the you know there are too many rituals there are too many songs uh, there is a bar scene that wasn't really required and i think there could be some room for improvement there but a decent performance uh, in uh, editing as well now to the most important question should you be watching this show or not so this movie does focus on too many messages but i feel that is how this movie could have been made and maybe that was the intent behind touching on different topics and i think when when you don't touch different topics the context is not clear to the end audience so you know i talked a lot of stereotypes uh, it is part of this movie but it is pure at heart you know there is no there is it's not a story that requires a huge budget i mean you can just look at this movie you can say that yes the resources were are limited but it's made with a lot of intensity it's made with a lot of detail kept in mind each and every cast has been picked Uh, very carefully and awareness is also uh, a main factor to consider here i mean this is a modern india and and now the voice is going to go all across the globe through the means of netflix so uh, i think uh, overall something that a story that uh, is a one time watch in my opinion uh, you guys should watch it i'm i think you're going to like it too i'm going to give it 7 out of 10 guys so if you like this review please give a thumbs up you want to comment you can add it below and if you want to subscribe to my channel please do so but i'll be in touch with you until then take care bye bye